Hey world, uh, in this session, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be talking about. I'm not really quite sure to really update you on some things or to, I don't know, be a bit more serious in uh, what I talk about for this one. Probably uh, not as much humor. Um, probably trying to keep it a bit more real um, there's just been uh, recently a lot of things that's been going on that uh, I don't know um, anyways last week I went through and had a vacation from work uh, although it was my one week of official vacation uh, for the year, I chose to spend the time at home. Um, so I went through and uh, visited uh, family back at home. And uh, seeing family is not exactly uh, vacation. Um, especially if it's a dysfunctional one. Um, family for me is a love and hate relationship because they're family and uh, you know whether you, you like it or not they're family. Um, you love them but you can't stand them. Uh, you can only take so much of them etc. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, describes my family in a nutshell and uh, with that being the case it's very dysfunctional um, I don't know how many of you would agree out there but uh, I believe myself to be the sane one in the family um, let's see here and needless to say, I got a chance to catch up with some friends when I was back down in North Carolina. Although I did not get a chance to see everyone that I wanted to, um, I did get to see the ones that were most important to me and within the available time constraints of who were available. Um, and I probably have to say that the last day, which was Friday night, and no, excuse me, which was Saturday evening, um, was when I got to spend some time with my friend Keisha. And I uh, spent the night there, and uh, she took me to the airport on Sunday to fly out. So I probably say that was probably the uh, only true vacation time. I got to relax. I got to unwind. Uh, I got a chance to uh, just offload some uh, stress to her about what's been going on, um, and just got a chance to catch up with her. I saw half of GI Joe, and I got a chance to see uh, Transformers: uh, Revenge of the Fallen which is a, a pretty good movie so definitely gotta add that to my collection um, let's see here going on to four minutes I guess the somber part of this video will be I guess going on describing how family is to me um, you know every family have their own problems you know I'm no different with mine and of course you know as much as family is a love and hate for me yes I will be sad if anything happened to you know any members of the family and of course uh, as many of my viewers uh, know that you know um, the economy my situation and the situation of others out there are pretty similar in that we pretty much have a ass load of debt and debt up to our eyeballs and with that being the case there you know I'm trying to work for my own future um, and well-being uh, planning for the future 
you know, and I got an aging mom to look after, and, you know, at the same time, she's going on to be 60, but, of course, I'm pretty sure for those of you who still have your parents, um, you probably wonder, maybe, maybe not, uh, you know, the day that uh, they won't be here anymore, and, of course, you know, that's also one of one of my fears and one of my insecurities, you know, knowing that I haven't been able to provide or look out for her yet, but at the same time, I myself also am trying to make it out there in the world on my own. And also trying to, you know, I, I still feel that I still need my family because I haven't had one of my own in terms of wife or kids or, anything else yet and as independent as I am you know there's always going to be a gap and a loneliness if one of your immediate family does die but at the same time I just feel that I'm still going to be a bit lost if that's the case there and I know that in my previous videos um, you know I joke and kid about finding a wife and having, you know, tons of kids and, and uh, whatnot. And, and of course I say that with uh, tongue in cheek that, you know, I am still, I don't know if waiting's the right word. It's, I guess, still searching, finding, um, and partly waiting maybe just on time, situation, and the right opportunity um, for attaining. Um, and I guess that's probably the better word for it as of right now because, I don't know, there's just different ways and I've discussed this in my other videos as well. You know, it's do you leave having your soulmate up to chance or do you actually go out there and find her, him or her? Um, and one of the quotes from one of my favorite movies is L.A. Story, in which uh, Steve Martin ends it by going, you know, there is someone out there for everyone, and, uh, you know, you and if you need to have night goggles, a compass, and a pickaxe to find them, you know, so be it. And if that's the case, you know, it's waiting around. You don't necessarily find that person. You have to go get them by whatever means, for the most part, legally and ethically. You know, you can't just go out there and coerce and force. Well, you can, but it's, it goes against all morals and, and logic. But with that, there's just some things out there that's waiting to fall into place um, and so with that you know just uh, from this tangent is you know my mom is waiting for on me to uh, you know have a wife and uh, have some kids that I can you know have my own family to take care of and you know of course she's looking forward to some grandkids as I'm looking forward to my future kids as well and as they say about women, how they know about their biological, their biological clock of how, I don't know, maybe they feel that their time is passing by. I mean, the same can be said of guys as well. And there's a lot of guys out there, uh, despite what women think, you know, that we feel that we're ready to be a dad. Um, you know, it's, it's just our time and we're past due for that. Now, granted, circumstances like financial situations might come into that, but as far as being ready for kids or anything, I feel that uh, there is a gnawing at my soul that, you know, there, there should be time for some kids uh, uh, now. But, of course, you know, you can't have kids the natural way, you know, aside from uh, AI, artificial insemination or some sperm banks, egg banks, etc. But, uh, you know, with that being the case, uh, approaching my 10 minutes here,
but uh, you know, just wanted to say that you know, try to keep this a bit more somber, a bit more real. And but of course, with everything, there should be always be humor in life. So with that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.